What's up sports fans and welcome to the Sports Shack hosted by Jay Kerr and myself Buddy Burns. Right now we're going to get into something we like to call well something new we've never done it before let me let me correct myself here the final four yep pom pom no music no trumpets we're gonna add it <laughs> well let's uh let's let's talk about uh the teams that are left right now in the, the final four. Right. Who do you want to talk about first? Well, let's talk about the, the East and the uh, versus the West. Okay. Well, let's talk about the team remaining in uh, the East right now. The winner, Kentucky. Yeah. What a game. Uh, you know, just uh, they just seem to hit those big threes at the end. I mean, North Carolina was, kept coming, kept coming, just kept coming. And, you know... Harrelson every, was playing good. Uh, he was playing good. But you know what? It was really their shooters. Guys like Knight, uh, Lamb. I mean, they just kept... Higgins, fuck... I mean, Liggins, uh, Miller. They just kept hitting fucking threes. Every time they would go down, North Carolina would come close. Bam, three. Go down again. Yeah, but every bam, time... Three. Every like, time North Carolina, too, would... Uh, would, uh, would come back down. But you know what? Right? And they would play good D. They would be playing. They were making contested. This wasn't like wide open threes. Guys were, you know, six, eight guys were in their face. It was, uh, it was a, it, 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 it's, it it's one of those games that are exciting to watch. Was, That's what makes NC, uh, NCAA yeah, well, it depends. Like I was on North Carolina, so I was like, this is bullshit. Like they just kept hitting. I'm just like, this is like ridiculous. Like, these guys are hitting threes with, uh, you know, six, five guys are hitting threes with a seven footer in his face. I know. I wasn't too impressed with that. I wasn't too impressed with that because uh, I had uh, North Carolina too. Yeah, so like the spread was uh, was low. Well, we, one and a half. You know. What yeah, I, mean? I would. It, 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 it was a we, toss up in the it beginning. It was pretty close. It was a tied game with like a minute and a half left or yeah, something. Yeah. Well, then. Kentucky, and then Kentucky just started hitting more threes. I mean, that's you know what? That's that's the end right now. The the last uh, there's gonna be three more games, two in the final four, and then the final. It's all gonna be about who hits their threes. Who can hit the three, that's who's going to win. That's what all these games are going to come down to. You're going to see it. And, uh, you know, when uh, this is all over, we're going to talk about it. Yeah. Move it. Now, they're going to be facing uh, the winner in the West, which was UConn. Yeah. Oh, uh, man. Like, <laughs> talk about surprises here. I mean, UConn was dog shit down the stretch in the Big East. Absolute dog shit. They turned it on in the Big East tournament going into Madison Square Garden. Buddy, I'm not going to lie to you, bro. I did not touch this game, man. I had a feeling. I, I took... I liked UConn. I mean, they're... Against Arizona, I mean, sure. Uh, I just had a feeling about this team, man. I just had a feeling about it, and uh, I didn't know what to do, so I did absolutely nothing. Because what I did... What I risked is... We'll talk about that <laughs> moving well, on. But I've, I've been playing UConn all year, and uh, in December, they play a tournament in Hawaii. Right? And, uh, you know, that's when Kemba Walker was putting up 35 points every game. And everybody was like, oh, this guy's amazing. Then he comes back to Connecticut. Big East starts. And now he's struggling. He's, he's not putting up 30 points. He's putting up 20 points on, like, 25 shots. People are like, oh, okay, uh, Jared Sullinger is now the player of the year. Jimmer Fredette's the player of the year. Now it's back to Kemba Walker. I know, eh? Come, oh. back, come back to a tournament and Kemba Walker is the number one player again. UConn hasn't lost in any tournament they've played in all year. They're twelve and zero. So what happens if they if they lose to Kentucky? Who do you think? Now it will be. I don't think they're not losing. UConn's going to beat Kentucky. I'll tell you that right now. Kentucky yeah. got lucky hitting those threes. They have all those freshmen. UConn's got freshmen too, but you know what? I don't they're know. They're led buddy. by uh, upperclassmen like Kemba Walker. I'm liking Lamb and uh, Jones. I'm liking these. Uh, Jones is six nine. He struggled. I think uh, against like uh, the big guys from UConn. He's gonna have a little bit of problem. He's six nine. Leggins. These well, these guys like oh man, like Calipari is getting these guys from like the junior colleges. Guys, fucking coming out of who knows where, and these guys are six seven. Uh, they can shoot threes, you know. And last year they were playing. And when they played, they played good. But last year's team had five NBA players on it, so you know they were stuck on the bench. This year these kids are showing what they can do, and they were highly recruited, and now they look how good they are. UConn's got some freshmen too, right? They got three freshmen uh, well, that are playing significant minutes. So this is a it's a tough game because both teams have freshmen, and uh, we don't know who's gonna. But you know what? UConn, 
12 and 0 in tournaments. Kemba Walker, probably the best player on the floor. UConn, big time rebounding. If, if you could keep Harrelson, that guy's been no, he's been massive. Every I don't I, know what I'm, I'm going how I've been uh, playing this uh, this March Madness. Yeah, and I'm feeling Kentucky, and I'm going to stay with Kentucky. They I, I don't blame me. you. They burn I don't me blame a little you. bit, and and I see what they're capable of doing. We'll take. Well, we look at talent. Kentucky's better. Kentucky's got NBA talent. Okay, UConn. I don't think Kemba Walker is an NBA going to be an NBA player. You know, Kentucky's got at least uh, three guys that are going to be playing in the NBA. You know, so, but they're they're freshmen, and UConn's got senior guys. I know. I and I even said that with the UConn. Okay, um, moving on to the Southwest uh, versus uh, Southeast. Yep, uh, we got uh, our darlings VCU versus actually uh -huh. another another good team that we like Butler. Butler, yeah. So uh, once uh, again, it's like in the beginning of the this is like oh, this is gonna be a ridiculous game. It's like who hits their threes. I mean, like uh, yeah. Butler. I don't know how these guys are just they hit big shot. Like it's ridiculous. Howard's the man. Howard, Mac hit like a massive three. Mac hit like a pull up like 16 footer. Um, they just hit shots, big time shots. When they have to get hit, they hit them every time. It's like ridiculous. Yeah, but I don't, uh, I'm not, I don't, I can't even name you more than one. Well, I know one player, Nixon, on VCU. Well, but they have some guys, they have like, they're just a deep team. They have like Rosal, they have like yeah. Anderson's their point guard. They just have like a, like, you know, eight, nine guys that play. Dude, I've been writing, I've been writing your, the first show, every sleeper that you put on, I've, I've put money on it. And most of them have come through. And yeah, well, this one, and VCU is still, is still alive. So I'm taking VCU. Um, Who are you taking? Taking VCU too. Like, uh, I think they can hit their threes. They're shooting 45% from three in uh, the tournament. During the season, they only shot 36%. During the season, I think they only had more than 10 threes like a few times, maybe once or twice in 30 games. I'm pretty sure they've had more than 10 threes in every game in the tournament. So, uh, you know, if they hit their threes, and it looks like they've been hitting their threes, I think Baller's going to be in trouble. I, I just can't see how Baller continues doing what they're doing. Last second, cardiac kids. I mean, that... Well, to uh, to recap, so uh, I got Kentucky, you got UConn. Yeah, we both got VCU. We both got VCU. And so, then I think in the final, I'm going to go with UConn. I guess you're probably going to go with Kentucky. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Who knows? VCU might do it. Yeah, I I, I didn't know. Like, if I'm, VCU goes, then I'm, we're taking I'm VCU. Going, I'm taking VCU. Yeah, if VCU goes, we're going to put money on it, but we're think. Yeah. yeah, let's be realistic. We think, yeah, let, but, realistically, but, gonna, but realistically, it, it, it's not a bad uh, a bad deal to put some money on them. No, no, no. no. When we have to. We have to. Like, what, they've done for us, what they've done for us, yeah. we have to. Plus 600, that's right. We have to. That's our We key. personally know people who have been, like, killing it with them. Like, doing ridiculous stuff like plus 600. You know, so... Okay. Follow us on uh, Facebook and Twitter. Check out our uh, eBay account. And check out our website, www.thesportsshack.ca. We say it, we play it.